and welcome again to the Legacy Lost Radio Music Paradise Show. And uh, today's video is a little something different. It is a for a receiving only uh, receiving only um, project. And I what I did um, basically um, I use this for a couple projects I was doing, including. Uh, for example, a Scantena, which is disconnected, the ST2, it uses 75 ohm coax. And a lot of antennas for receiving, you can use 75 ohm. Yes, I know there's a little bit of an offset, but uh, you use a good RG6 quad shield or something. And uh, it's very low loss and inexpensive and thin for uh, receive purposes. And uh, what I do, on um, this house has had a cable line. And it goes through the, the, the floor, and I untap the uh, connection where it went to, and I just piped it into my scanner antenna. But I don't need it really here because I'm close to the coast, but where I used to live was kind of a rural area, way out in the middle of nowhere. So uh, sometimes this might help. Now it depends on what bands and whatnot you use. But uh, just this is, this is a Radio Shack two-way 70 channel cable amplifier and or what this does basically you plug it in this plugs into regular 110 AC voltage and what it does is you have an input here so what you would do is take your antenna and put the uh, coax to here and then you have an output and you can actually run two radios off it if you really wanted to two scanners or whatever you you know you you would need it for and what I what uh, you do is uh, you pipe it in and it's a booster and um, I'm not sure what exact the specs are on this but I think it goes up close to 900 megahertz or so and uh, now um, you might not have good results with this it might overload your radio so you might have to turn your attenuator on you might need to use an FM trap it, you know it's all it's all experimental and it might work for you. You might get better results on a certain thing you want to listen to. And uh, the good thing about this one, there's different models of these. Um, there's some that don't have, um, what do you call it, uh, some have three, four, multiple amplifiers. What this thing I liked about it was it has an adjustable gain. I think it's either 10 or 20 be on that I'm looking to see for I'm seeing here this is Radio Shack catalog number 15 let's say 1960 Let's look here 1960b and um, some ha don't there's different brands and some don't have the gain adjustable gain and I don't think it has a a through switch so once you have it plugged in if it's if it's in line and you unplug this, your signal drops out. It's almost like it doesn't even work. So you pretty much have to have it powered on all the whole time. But anyway, this has a gain here, so that does increase and stuff, you know. But it depends on what you're listening to. If you you got a long cable long, uh, run, and uh, you're out in the middle of boonies and you're trying to get something further away, this might help you. And uh, you can find these on eBay, and uh, you can still buy these new, probably on Amazon and whatnot, and uh, I don't even know if Radio Shack still carries these, but uh, definitely don't transmit on this, that's for sure, it's just a uh, receive only, and what I did here, if you might ask what this is, this is a terminal end cap, and what this does is just a terminal resistor, 75 ohms, and uh, it helps uh, keep signals from leaking out. RF strays, you know, um, I recommend putting these on stuff just to, you know, I don't know, some people say it makes a difference, some people say it don't, but it's a good, uh, if you have them, you know, you can buy them in a package, and uh, they're a good thing to have, I would say, just to keep stray RF from possibly leaking out, so, uh, plus, you know, it just uh, keeps corrosion and stuff getting there too, so it's, it really serves two purposes, and, um, but anyway, um, this is a uh, good thing to experiment with if you're like I said if you're out in a rural area or if you just want to experiment you bored one day uh, 
if you do have 75 ohm cable I would run RG6 I don't like the 59 is lower loss and this the 6 is so cheap there's no really reason not to use it and it's got better shielding uh, but anyway um try this if you uh, want to experiment one day on your receive on your scanner um, and uh, see what your results are um, could help you out like I said you gotta experiment with the gain and um, also you might mess with your attenuator you might need an FM trap and uh, your results might vary and uh, you know give it a shot and uh, see what you get and uh, I've read some articles people using these before so I figured I'd show you I did do that one time I had this and uh, I was fooling around with it a little bit just to uh, see what would happen so uh, anyway uh, give us a thumbs up hope you like this and uh, maybe give you an idea give you something to do radio is all about experimenting and uh, you know what works for one person might not work for another uh, it's worth, it might be worth to try something to do on a rainy day so give us a thumbs up peace 73's please subscribe have a great day